In today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys how you can create a clean and awesome text effect inside Adobe After Effects just like this. Hey, how's it going everyone? Ram here and welcome back to another epic video. So in today's video, as I mentioned in the intro, we'll be taking a look at how you can create a clean and awesome text effect inside Adobe After Effects. And the cool thing about this effect is that you can use it as a transparent video layer on any kind of video editor like Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro X. So without further ado, let's jump right into After Effects and see how to create this text effect. Once you open Adobe After Effects, click on New Composition and this window right here provides you the aspect ratio, pixel aspect ratio, frame rate and the duration of your composition. Set the aspect ratio to 1920 by 1080 Set the pixel aspect ratio to square pixels Set the frame rate to 23.976 or 24 frames per second to have a nice cinematic motion and set the duration to 10 seconds Set the background color to black and you can rename your composition if you want Basically, a composition in Adobe After Effects is a timeline where we are going to work with our project files. You can click on OK. Once you have created a composition in Adobe After Effects, it's now time for us to create a text inside After Effects. In order to do that, you can click on the T icon right here and you can click inside the preview window to create a text. I'm going to type in as tracking since this effect is called as the tracking effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hit Ctrl A on the keyboard to select the entire text and you can click on this box to change the color of your text that you have created. I'm going to go with a white color and you can hit OK. Now that we have changed the color of our text, it's time for us to now set the text at the center of the frame. In order to do that, you can click on Align and you can click on Align Horizontally and Align Vertically options in order to make your text come at the very center of the frame. If you don't find your align option right here, you can go up to window, you can click on align and you have your align option right here. Once we have done that, we need to make the anchor point go at the center. Anchor point is nothing but if I just zoom it in, you can see there is a small round pointer inside the text which is called the anchor point. I'm going to do that by unselecting every layer in the timeline by clicking on the dead space in the timeline just like this. Hit V on the keyboard to go with the selection tool. Hit Y on the keyboard to open the anchor point tool and select the text layer right here. Hold down Ctrl or Command whether you use Windows or Mac. You can simply click on the anchor point, drag it up a little bit so that it locks at the center. Just like this. Quick shout out for Upbeat. Upbeat is an online music library which provides you access for downloading royalty free music for your YouTube videos just for free. They have the free plan which provides you 10 downloads each and every month once you sign into Upbeat just for free. But if you guys want to upgrade for the premium plan, you can go around with $7 per month which is pretty much good for a YouTuber who is doing YouTube as your full time job. If you guys want to know more about Upbeat, I have given my referral code down in the description below so that you guys can check it out. You can now zoom out of the particular preview window. So once we have done that, we need to animate the text right now. Hit V on the keyboard to go with the selection tool. Simply open the arrow mark right here in the text layer. Click on animate and select tracking. You have your tracking animation right over here. Make sure that your playhead is at the beginning of the timeline and you can create a keyframe by clicking the stopwatch icon right here. Once you have done that, take your playhead to around 4 seconds and make the tracking amount around uh, 40 or 50 let me go with 50 so that if I just play it from the beginning you have a nice tracking animation happening around the text so that is it but this tracking animation is so boring that we don't have any kind of contrast or any kind of motion with the text so I would like to add some scaling effect onto the text in order to do that you can take the playhead to the last frame where you have created a keyframe for tracking. Select the text layer. Hit S on the keyboard to open the scale option. You can click on the stopwatch icon to create a keyframe right here. Drag the playhead to the beginning. You can make it around 80%. So if I just play it, you have a nice tracking animation with some scaling effect onto the text. But you cannot see the tracking animation keyframes right inside the text layer, right? So you can select the text layer, hit U on the keyboard 
so that you have all of the keyframes which you have created available on the timeline just like this but this tracking effect is itself boring because it doesn't have any kind of smooth text effect onto the animation in order to do that select all the keyframes right click on them keyframe assistant and you can easy ease them by just selecting easy ease or if you want to have a keyboard shortcut it is going to be f9 on any kind of keyboard it may be mac or windows so once we have done that i just play it you have a nice tracking animation happening inside the text effect which is much more smoother than the text effect that we saw before making it easy ease so that is how you create a tracking animation in adobe after effects for a text but as i told you we are going to create a transparent video layer of this particular animation so that we can add it on our videos in order to render this text effect as a transparent layer hit ctrl m or command m on the keyboard if you use windows or mac click on the output module lossless and change it as quick time and under video output change the channels as rgb plus alpha and you can leave the rest of the settings just like this and you can hit ok click on this output 2 i would like to save it here inside my desktop and hit save and you can click render it will render your file automatically according to your computer speed so once you have rendered your file you can just close the render queue window and you can save the project file by hitting ctrl s or command s whether you use windows or mac and you can save it in the location where you want i'm not going to save it in the location but instead i'm going to open a premiere pro project right here once i open a premiere pro project file i would like to import my file that i have saved just like this and if i just drag it and place it and there you go the magic happens it is a transparent layer which is working on a foreground inside adobe premiere pro as you can see if i just play it back you have a nice subtle animation going on with the tracking text effect as a transparent layer this is pretty much similar for davinci resolve final cut pro x avid media composer any kind of video editor so let me go with some end thoughts so that is pretty much for wrapping up today's video if you found this video more helpful drop a like and comment below if you guys are new for the channel make sure that you subscribe and turn on notifications i guarantee you that you will not regret it follow me on instagram the link is in the description kindly check it out i'll be meeting you guys in the next video